how to decide where to go on a day out. Is it spring break, summer holidays, half term? Whatever the occasion, the kids most likely be aching to go out and you will be getting really tired of their moaning. You've been putting this off as you don't want to keep spending money going out here and there all the time? Well, now you might be saved with this guide on what to do. Steps 1. Just go somewhere. At the start of the holidays the kids won't really mind where they go. Maybe you can call up a few of the moms or dads that you know from school and invite everyone to a local park or an expensive country park with play areas. Steps 2. Keep on visiting different nature areas that you know of locally. Maybe there are some forest trails in the areas. Take along a bike, scooter, skateboard, whatever pleases the kids really. Or enjoy a nice walk along the trails, maybe listen to the forest awaken between 6 a.m. and 8 a.m., or if the kids want a nice lie in then any time will do, after all, it's the cheap day out that counts. Steps 3. After a few days kids, being kids, will get fed up of the beautiful fresh air and forest views so you can try something a little more suited to them, but remembering that you need fun too. There is a perfect theory to this, hit the beach with buckets, spades, nets, and swimsuits for them and a book and towel for you, you can even bring a sun lounger and try to tan. Steps 4. You can arrange a barbecue with all your closest friends that have kids, and party with some karaoke maybe? The kids will be occupied with their friends, it's the perfect cocktail. Steps 5. As a special treat towards the end of summer you can arrange a day trip with your kids' friends and their moms to a theme park. There's plenty of good ones in Britain, like Alton Towers, Thorpe Park, Pleasure Beach, Oakwood, Drayton Manor, Chessington World of Adventures and West Midlands Safari Park. Check the locations and find your closest one.